Hi, I'm Daniel and in this video I'll show you how to use drive unit sharing option in channel synchronization. So over here I just used simple two operations face turning and outside turning and let me just, just run machine simulation. In this simulation you will note that those two operations are defined only with lower turret doing the face turning and outside turning operation. Now, now in order to reduce the cycle time uh, the, those two operations can be actually splitted on the face turning doing on the main on the, on the upper turret and outside turning on the main spindle doing it with my lower turret. So let's just see how to define those two operations to start together. So what I'm going to do over here, I'll just change my face turning operation to be done on my upper turret. Since I'm using one home, one Mac home programming, the only thing what I have to do here is to change submachine to upper turret main spindle. And as you can see over here, all levels and the technology remains the same as on the lower turret. The only thing what I have to do is to select proper tool. In this example I just select the tool number one that is presented uh, in the machine preview. So I'll just focus the tool, go to my front view and it's over here. I'll just accept it and just recalculate it. Also I'll use and calculate with all related operations and here it is. Let me just jump to my channel synchronization and over here what I would like to do is to remove this label in order to those two operations start together. If I would like to start those two operations together you will note that SolidCam will pop up the error window where it will say impossible to synchronize selected items because in between of those two operations the label is presented. So if I would like to just remove it, those two operations now are able to start together. But as you can see over here, the, the, the simulation and G code is not available. So just so far I'll just save it and let me explain you what is wrong. I'll go to my operation clash view and over here I, I, I see the red uh, square which says that face turning main spindle changes the spin value during the machining. If we want to perform the turning in the same time with upper turret and the lower turret on the same on the same spindle, uh, we need to make sure that the spin value as well as the spin direction are the same. This option is actually uh, a present drive unit sharing. It means that upper turret and lower turret share the same drive unit. So let me just go to my first operation and I will go to my data and over here I'll just check my spin and I'll make it like 800 for the all for the rough and and finish. I'll just go to my lower turret and here now I can see that my spins are the same value as my main spindle. The, 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 the second thing what I, that I said on the beginning, in order to have drive unit sharing, we need to have the same, dra same um, spin direction. As you can see over here, I'll just use the update machine. Here we can see the arrows that represent the, the spin direction. According to our insert phase, we can see that this machining is now possible to perform. I'll just now 7, seven exit and let me just go back to my channel synchronization. Now the drive unit sharing icon is displayed and actually represent, okay, those two operations now share the same drive unit and in this case it's main spindle. As you can see over here, I can also simulate it and generate the G code. Let's see how this look like 
when we run it in machine simulation. Let me just go to the front view and let me just run it. Both operations are working in the same time. Let me just go back again to general synchronization and this icon is now located on the channel 1 which means that the feeds and the spin are controlled by this channel. If I would like my second channel to have the control what I have to do is just make um, a right click on the icon and make drive unit control to channel 2. And now channel 2 actually controls the spin and the feed value over this operation. Thank you for watching. For any question, please contact SolidCam support on solidcam.com, clicking on the live help button.